What is that hero doing? What? Did you guys just... Did you guys see how stupid heroes are? I'll give it to you, no interruption. In your home, in your home, oh, on the phone, on the phone. Hey, what's up, guys? SJ here, back with another awesome video for you guys. And today, I thought I would uh, bring you guys some Clan Wars footage just to share you guys uh, how we've been doing, uh, some updates with my clan, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, let's just dive right in. So, uh, right now, what you guys are seeing right now is our war log. And uh, yeah, we're doing we're doing pretty good. As you can see, we've we haven't lost a single war so far. Um, it's this one's from yeah like 77 days ago. And uh, yeah, we haven't lost a single war. I think that is just amazing. Um, let's just I'm, and today I'm just gonna bring uh, review some very recent wars we went through. Uh, because I just want to show you guys some fun Clan Wars footage as well as some awesome raids that other people did. That I think would deserve some awesome uh, recognition and all that kind of stuff. So let's just go ahead and uh, look at the details of the uh, second to most recent war we did. And I apologize for the noise going on outside. It's my neighbors again. So ah, that is not good. But uh, let's just go ahead. So as you can see, 143 to 38. Uh, we were both level 2 clans, but it just seems like, um, uh, actually the act activeness, and you guys are probably like, well, your clan was probably more active. If, if you look there, only, they only used 25 of their 30 attacks, so, and we only used 23, so, uh, we were actually less active, but, uh, we did, uh, way better than them, I guess. <laughs> and, and one success of this is, just look at all these three stars, except for two bases. Every single base was three starred. And I have to admit, we do have some more high level players than uh, Costa Rica COC did. But, um, you know, we still did good. So, to start it off, how about we look at uh, my base getting two starred just to get the negativity out of the way, real quick. Alright, so, uh, right here is the footage of my base. So, this guy just drops. An archer right there, um, I mean, sorry, wall breaker right there to uh, draw all my clan troops. Uh, once he ha did make sure that all my clan troops were drawn out, uh, I, I had a, I have a dragon, a level six wizard, and an archer in my clan castle, which was awesome. So uh, what he did is basically uh, drop all of his uh, archers down to take care of my dragon, as well as like a few wizards. Uh, which is sad, and he did waste a lot of troops trying to get rid of my clan troops. From there, he goes ahead and uses the go wipe strategy, which of course I uh, just—it's hard. And he and he uses giants mixed with golems, probably to save dark elixir or something like that. <coughs> and he brought along a freaking heal spell with his tanks to heal his giants, and uh, is his. Yeah, and his golem, which is kind of, kind of sad. But yeah, um, he brings, he drops down all his wizards. He also had a witch in his clan castle, which basically turns his strategy into a combination of go wee wee and a go white. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty overpowered strategy. All the high level players used to use it before lava hounds decided to come out. Uh, but yeah, troops went straight towards the center. The peck is just there. My town hall was like no match for these troops. I uh, gets taken out and he gets and he gets gets an easy two star. Um, I think what happened was in the center, all my traps just uh, killed all his troops just coming in. Uh, there was also a Tesla on the Pekka, which deal which dealt double the damage. Uh, the air defense also slowed down the giants, and there still was a quite good deal of uh, wizards left. Let's go in and see what happened. Did I? I most likely. I think he ran out. Oh, did you guys just see that? Okay, we, we have to. Oh wow, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Let me let me speed that forward. Okay, so right here we're just replaying this. This is so. Look at that herd of freaking wizards. Uh, and they're just going here, about to wreck all my defenses left. About to get a three star on my base, and then just look at that. They go. And there is a giant bomb right there. Just right there to that herd of wizards and barbarian king. And just watch what happens. Okay, so the, all 
his wizards just decided to go to that area, all right here, and boom! That was epic. I, I just had to see it again. Giant bomb. I, I love my giant bomb. It saved my clan to start. Even though if that guy 3 started, we went 39, 43, so we should have, we still could have won. But anyways, uh, I'm just like, yeah. Uh, why don't we go ahead and, um, uh, alright, I think, uh, yeah, so by the way, I just told my clan we're recording, so they're saying hi, randomness22 says hi. Next, let's go ahead and look at the three star on the number one player called Michael84. Michael, oh, weird way to spell Michael, I just realized that. By awesome Sebastian. And, uh, yeah, I have to admit, this was a pretty freaking easy raid for Sebastian. Uh, this clan was way lower level than um, any other clan. So, yeah, uh, Sebastian looks like he uses the Hog Rider strategy, brings along five heal spells, and just does a draws out. First, what he does is draw out all the, all the clan troops right here, scatters all his barbarians around so that the dragon's just distracted on a bunch of barbarians, which is really smart. And then he just fo just drops down his archers. Uh, the dragon is... See, it seems like it did focus on the barbs, and while that was occurring, the archers took out the dragon. And then from here, what he does, he sends in a hog rider right there just to get rid of all the traps and all that kind of stuff. And then, once he realized that, oh no, there's no traps, and uh, who, Michael's base was a base which has no traps within the base, which is a kind of bad base. Uh, so he just sends in all his hogs. Hogs, look at those hogs. They're level 5 hogs, maxed out. And they are just wrecking the base. Puts down a heal spell when the herd is about to die out, though. They just wreck the wizard tower, which is like the only source of defense against these guys, besides multi infernos. And just hog riders, he, he drops another heal spell. And uh, in this region, may, one spring trap gets like one hog rider and just goes and wrecks them. Um, he, did, he also had two balloons, which um, I don't know why he brought along two balloons. And uh, the balloons did die out fairly quickly, but. Uh, uh, yeah, the balloons didn't help much, but the freaking hog riders, they are hilarious. Uh, they're there, the, just the barbarian king in the center just gets wrecked by Sebastian's hogs, and from there, hogs just go around jumping all over the base. He also uses the Iron Fist ability in his king, and three stars, the number one player, which honestly wasn't too bad. A uh, level three balloon from... Um, Level 3 balloon from, um, I just forgot. I'm kind of stupid. I don't know what's happening. Alright, uh, before we look at other people's attacks, go ahead and, uh, really quickly watch all my amazing attacks against extremely low-level people, but I did 3-star all of them. And I went ahead and 3-star Giovanni and the number one player, mainly because those were the only people left. They were the highest of the people left that didn't get 3-starred, and that's just awesome. So, uh, yeah, uh, Giovanni was a uh, low-level Town Hall town hall 3. I went ahead and put, placed a barb there, mainly just to see if there was, like, a giant bomb, which there wasn't. Giovanni's kind of stupid. They didn't even put a giant bomb there. And I just and it also helps uh, drag out uh, the dragon. Speed that up. Dragon is extremely slow. And then once, it, once there, I, drop, I went ahead and dropped my wizard there, and I did not, I, I wasn't aware what was in my clan castle, so I just, I, yeah, dropped in, and turns out I had a level 2 dragon, or level 3, level 2 or 3, I don't know, dragon in there, that's just uh, wreck the other dragon, and then I do my usual heals in right there, uh, he, I just drop all my giants, heal spell, clump of wizards, while all the defenses are on for the giants, uh, clump of wizards just go in there, uh, when the... When the uh, air defense was out, I dropped my he healer, as well as a heal spell, because I don't know why, but after the friggin' new update, the, all the troops are just so stupid, especially the healers. I think Supercell did that on purpose or something. Just look at that healer, just focus on the Barbarian King, isn't that really stupid? Uh, just, yeah, but um, that's also why I use a heal spell. Giants are there. Uh, the, the Wizard Tower focused on the Giant, and that just got rid of all it. And it's amazing how... Uh, the he uh, air bombs no longer affect uh, healers anymore, so my healers stayed up. As long as there's no air defense, healers basically never die. 
Um, despite the fact that my troops acting fairly stupid, uh, I was able to three-star this guy. I was just able to wreck him. All my minions just go in there. Now, yeah, we went ahead and wrecked that freaking base. Uh, my chat's going crazy. Oh, everyone's saying hi. Alright, so that's that. Um, for this war, I'm not featuring too many attacks because I want to save some time for the next war. I don't want to make this episode too long. Uh, thanks to all my clanmates who was able to get three stars, Trent, uh, props to you, uh, Sebastian, as always, Cashbro, you got a three star in Osteries. Wait, let's, let's just go ahead and replay, replay Cashbro's attack. Oh uh, man, he, because he took on a, a fairly uh, hard guy, but he had level three dragons with rage and a heal, so come on. Uh, this, he just basically, he, he just, let's just go ahead and play four times. He basically just wrecked wrecked everybody here. It was it was crazy and uh yeah he went ahead and got that. Um dragons just put a raid spell down there. There was an air defense in the center. That's kinda funny to see it in four times but uh he also dropped his Barb King and yeah the air defense just in the center. That's just really funny. The dragons didn't even decide to get it but Eventually they went ahead and killed it and got an easy three star off of that. And uh, as well as a bunch of other people, Cash Bro again uh, Irish guy, uh, there's me, and there is a Bugs Masher, uh, Alec Ryder, uh, Alec Ryder, I haven't seen him in a while, Mr. S. Funny how Clash of Clans didn't censor that. Uh, Sebastian Rocks 2 got 2 star, but, you know, it's his third account, even though it says 2. Uh, but yeah, that is the, um, that's, uh, how the war went, it went awesome. Uh, 43 to 38, and uh, this war got us to, you know, this war was amazing, and it was able to do really well. And now, let's go ahead and review the recent, recent war. Uh, in the most recent war, we also won, because we are winning every single war, obviously. But, uh, yeah, in the most recent war, we won 37 to 24, and, uh, yeah, let's just go in and see what, what happened. Uh, and again, Leo's clan, before you guys are like, hey, these guys weren't active at all, look at the attacks used right there. We used 20 of our 30 attacks, and Leo's clan used 21 of their 30 attacks, so technically they were more active than us, and that gave them a 3 star of an advantage, but we just wrecked them, because we are the MVP champions, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, so th these guys just kind of failed to do any damage to our bases except for the last few players. Oh, let's go and just, just go ahead and check. Uh, SJ, is that the video I posted today? I don't know. I kind of just film in bulk. I'm just going to write IDK. I don't know, really. Nah, no. Then I'm going to have to get in conversation. You can think, you know what, let's just... I'll answer you later. Uh, I honestly don't know. But uh, if you look here, just look, look, look at look at us wrecking the wrecking Leo's clan. I'm extremely sorry, Leo. Starting from Sebastian again, wrecking the number one player of this clan. Let's go ahead and replay replay this. Okay, so uh, this guy, he was a rush town of late, but. Um, his defenses were not too rushed, and this guy had Inferno Towers. Uh, Sebastian used the Lavunian strategy with maxed out everything. No, actually his Lava Hounds aren't maxed out. But, uh, yeah, the strategy just became OP. Just look at those tiny Lava Hound dudes just, just going ahead and just, you know, they just splatter around. They just look funny. Uh, but yeah, the, just Lava Hounds, they just split up. Um, his, uh, balloons took out most, quite a good deal of the defenses. The Inferno Tower did do some work, I have to say. But his, uh, balloons and his minions, well, as his Lava Hound mini dudes, uh, got him a one star? Did, did they? Did they get him a one star? Yep, yeah, they got him 50%. And then, of course... Yeah, he sent in his amazing king, which uh, they attacked the wall, uh, and they thankfully attacked the same wall, speed it up, and then, uh, yeah, they just go, they went to center of the base. He used his king's ability because the Inferno Tower was on the king, which was unfortunate, and then, but the queen went in and got the town hall, so that gave us an awesome, sweet, 
two star right there. Uh, yeah, so that's the number one player. Sebastian again, great, great job. Uh, let me show you what I, what I attacked. Looks like no one attacked. Okay, so in this war, before you guys say anything, I kind of failed on the second attack. I, I think I took on the number one two player, which kind of sucked because he was a little bit more high level than I was, but whatever. Let's look at my good attack. And that was. And the someone thankfully three star for me. Oh, Sebastian took over the raid for me. That's awesome. Alright, so thanks to Hugh Sebastian for covering up my fail. Uh, let's, go, let's just go ahead and look at my raid against Raquel. Um, yeah, I, I decided to just take on the, um, easy dude. I just took on the guy, uh, below me, so, yeah. Uh, so what I did was I drew out the dragon using a wall breaker and some barbs. I, I sent him barbs so that the, um, defense is focused on the barb while the wall breaker could hopefully destroy a wall, which it didn't get to, but it did do its job, drew out the dragon. When I, I went ahead and put a minion down. Um, just to distract the dragon, and as the dragon destroyed the minion and the wizard, it went ahead, and my other wizard just took it all out. And then I did my usual thing, drop all my giants with the heal spell, and then drop all my wizards. And I did drop my minions a little early, but then I was like, you know, this air defense isn't going to do anything. And I wanted to drop my healer a little earlier, because I did want to kind of save that heal spell. Um, although I kind of estimated that it maybe I wouldn't actually need it too bad, but I just decided to go and use it. Uh, this, this, this air defense just got the healer, just, if my, if it just struck the healer, healer a little later, it, uh, my healer would have survived. But, yeah, um, that, that was, and this, at this point, I was kind of scared because all my troops were scattered about, and look at that wizard, like, he's about to go, oh, and just, just look at that speck of, health left in the tunnel, I'm like, oh my god, am I actually gonna fail in this raid? And and then I was I got scared. And this stupid hero, he, he just goes he, he these heroes are heroes have become so stupid they, they go for that troop and then when it's like out of the rain, they're like, oh wait a minute, they just come back and go for another one. They end up not attacking anybody. But uh yeah um I was able to destroy the Town Hall, which was, this was a close raid, I have to admit. Uh, and next, uh, I just want to feature a few cool attacks. Um, so, Sebastian was telling me how um, Cash Bro got, did some good raids in for the last war, so just go ahead and look at uh, Cash Bro's attack real quick on the number four dude. He attacks the... Um, yeah, he attacks the world's most rushed town all nine in the world so with his level three dragons and the dragon strategy i apologize greatly for the noise going on it's just people walking around the house okay so uh yeah um P yeah so the dragons are just going uh wrecking this guy this this i suppose sent to ground luckily the glitch isn't activating where expos you know set to ground target or attacking air targets i don't know if that glitch is fixed but it is in terms of clan wars, and this video just proved it. So, uh, yeah, and his, and his dragons are just going around, just wrecking the base. There's still a quite good amount of dragons left. His air defenses are just so freaking poorly upgraded. It's it's sad. So, uh, that's what's happening. Um, and then he just drops his king, uh, activates the ability. Uh, kind of early, I think it's because he was... He, what is that hero doing? What? Did you guys just... Did you guys see how stupid heroes are? Um, but yeah, uh, that's that's just what happened. And look at that stupid hero with his, oh, what's happening? When he clearly can't see, I, I don't even know what to say. Just, ah, uh, super still made their troops. So stupid, but great job to Cash Bro. That was uh, definitely an awesome raid. Uh, Dragon Tamer, let's go ahead and feature like a random raid with someone I haven't featured before. I featured B Dog before. Riley, let's. let's I, want, I want to feature like. Okay. Randomness to Jason. Uh, how about. I, I want to feature. So did, did Sebastian attack this guy? Uh, Trent. Let's go ahead and feature Trent because he did get some good raids in for my clans. I mean, for our clan. So it's not really my clan because. Uh, Sebastian's lead, but what it what so Trent did the go wipe strategy on uh Fairnoxville.
from Leo's clan. And when he went in and drew out the dragon in the clan castle, and then he drops an archer in the corner with the building. These people that just put buildings in the corner are just so stupid. Those buildings, one will give the greater free percentages, and it's just going to give them an awesome place to draw the clan troops. So stupid. Yeah, I mean, they just don't get how to play Clash of Clans. You know, Fairnoxville, I doubt you're watching this, but if you are, you're... You should really fix that, because you just saw what people do. But, uh, yeah, Trent just goes, and, uh, yeah, his wizards are just going, getting percentages off the base. His golems were being quite stupid. It would have been nicer if the golems went towards the center, but they, they are now. And, uh, he also had a heal spell left. I wonder if he uses it for his golems. Um, let's see. But, yeah, he does go, and he, he had, he had a maxed out Pega in his clan castle, so... Uh, that's, that helped a lot, because this maxed out P.E.K.K.A. wasn't being stupid, and, uh, by the way, did you know maxed out P.E.K.K.A.s are stronger than a level 40 Barbarian King, so, uh, yeah, just, maxed out P.E.K.K.A.s are overpowered, especially when they're not being stupid, like P.E.K.K.A.s always are, and, uh, but you do see how weak they are to electricity, like to Wizard Towers, they just do way more damage, and also that Tesla, was, is that Tesla on the P.E.K.K.A.? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, as you can see, Wizard Towers, do electricity does do a great amount of damage to Pekka's, but uh, yeah, at this point, Trent just got a two-star, it didn't really matter, and it, and it kind of seemed hard to get a three-star, uh, but he did have a great amount of, he drops a Rage spell down there, and the, Pe wow, did you just see that, the Pekka just, Pekka just, like, kills all the, yeah, look at that Pekka just kill everything in one hit, like, it's like a one hit, just crazy, but his troops did die out, uh, he just let the P.E.K.K.A. just roam around, but I, I, I believe, yeah, the P.E.K.K.A. just died, but and look at that huge skeleton the P.E.K.K.A. produces, uh, P.E.K.K.A.s are just, uh, yeah, they're just funny, so funny, alright, uh, alright, uh, yeah, so, that's the war, I thought today in this video, I thought I'd just show you guys some, uh, let's, let's, uh uh, but let's, let's go to my clan wars, and let's go to Warlog. Yeah, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys some awesome, how awesome we're doing currently right now. Um, in the war that we are in currently, we are actually against a fairly hard clan, so that may be our first war loss, but I thought I'd go ahead and make a video about our win streak and all that. Maybe we can win Mexico power. I hope we can win these Mexicans. It's, that wasn't racist at all. I don't know, but thank you so much for watching, guys. This was SJ, and uh, yeah, uh, that's just how we're doing. Thanks so much for watching. I said that twice now, but I'm just gonna say it again. Thank you so much for watching. This was SJ. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.